As the country sees a surge in the number of imported COVID-19 cases and violators of the 14-day self-isolation rules, Seoul's Prime Minister issues a ultimatum. Citizens who fail to adhere to the measure will have charges filed against them. Foreigners will be deported. Kan Young-woo shares with us his remarks. South Korea has vowed a zero tolerance against people who do not follow self-quarantine rules in efforts to prevent further spread of the coronavirus in the nation. Those who violate self-isolation rules without legitimate reasons should face charges, and in the case of foreigners, they should be forced to leave the country. During a central disaster and safety countermeasure headquarters meeting on Thursday, Prime Minister Jung Se-kyun stressed that self-quarantine orders are illegal enforcements. The South Korean government has required all inbound passengers from Europe and the U.S. to remain in a 14-day self-quarantine upon arrival. Prime Minister Jung said those who are subject to self-isolation should not be going to stores or restaurants. He called on local governments to designate public officials to closely monitor those in self-quarantine using location information systems. From the start of today, 57 of the 104 confirmed cases were imported from overseas. 30 of them were confirmed during quarantine, and 27 were confirmed in their local communities. In South Korea, there have been 284 confirmed cases imported from overseas so far. One of the cases is a 19-year-old Korean woman who returned to Seoul from college in the U.S. on March 15th. The patient visited then Jeju Island on March 20th with three other people, including her mother. Although the patient had a fever and chills on the first day, she traveled around the island for the next four days. She was confirmed to have been infected on March 24th after returning to Seoul. Kanyong, Arirang News.